Previously on... Are you sure I'm mentally stable, bruh? Because I don't think I am. I nearly collapsed my hands, but master myself for one final word. Understood. I got the transmission and eagerly withdrew a small bottle from within my jacket. Only one pill left, but no matter. I'll be getting more soon enough. I popped the final capsule into my mouth, puncturing its skin with my teeth and rolling up the bed of gel over my tongue. Now, this, this is life! As a wave of Europhia sweeps through me, I turn from my handiwork, strolling out of my meadow. Today's fun is over, but tomorrow will hold just as many pleasures, I'm sure. Whoa, hold on! Whoa! Okay, so... Shit, I killed someone! Damn! Bruh. Bruh. No offense, but... Naming sense, bruh! I mean, sure, you could put amazing or super or cool in front of it, but that doesn't make any difference, bruh! If you're itself, or itself, if you're yourself ain't amazing, bruh, damn! In fact, who the fuck will call them a self fucking amazing? But, ah, well, you know what? At the very least, this is a pretty good opportunity to joke around, right? I guess? Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Ah. Wow, bruh, uh... Yeah, that's fantastic, yeah, and uh, I call myself Speed of Light, I'm saying Mountain Destroyer, yeah! Hell yeah! You should, like, rename yourself to, like, I don't know, Stricken Shadows, Dark Eradicator? Yeah, then, you know, bruh, listen, we'll be unstoppable, you know what I'm saying? Because of our names, yeah! Ain't no way I'm going with that, bruh! Yeah, he isn't great with sarcasm, son of a bitch. I smirk at him, but before I can elaborate, the P.A. Bubba's craft close to life. Oh, uh... To club fairs and official opens in the courtyard, feel free to drop by and check out some of what your fellow students have planned. Already. At just the second day, maybe the school's just, you know, making everything happen faster this year. I don't really see why. Isamu Imperial Bo Boarding Academy has always done well for itself. Even throughout the recession, yeah, there's no need to change things now. Hey, uh, bruh, it's club time. Let's, you know, go take a look. No, thanks. I'd rather not be blacklisted. What's that? What? What does that mean? Girl, what? It, me or it means that uh, she's afraid to go with you, bruh. Yeah, you outshine her so much, you know? So much that, uh, the clubs won't be interested in her, Nam Sanka. Oh, bruh! <laughs> Louis glares at me. I only went back, Nam Sanka. Well, uh, you shouldn't worry about that, my dear Rui. I'm sure I can use my, uh, substantial sphere of influence to get you against Bucker. I'm already in a club, you know? Hello? Drama club? Oh, uh, right! She's been in a drama club since last year, and somehow, he still forgot it. This guy. Did, uh, what was Yawa talking about? Nothing, just, you know, acting like an idiot, as usual, yes. Well, uh, you know what they say. Like, attracts like, you know, son? Yeah! Rui elbows me sharply in the ribs, but her lips are pulling up at the corners. They also say, opposite attracts. Yeah, and we know which one you are, girl! She slaps me playfully on the arms as Masato and Yahiko, Yahiko I mean, watch with blank stares. Did I, like, just miss something, bruh? No more than you usually do. Yaiko frowns for a moment, but eventually shrugs the exchange off. Well, uh, I don't know about you guys, bruh, but uh, I need to find myself club to grace with, you know, my 
innerable talents, bruh. They're uh, innerable, alright. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, without further ado, I bid thee farewell, brothers. Yeah. Peace. He turns with the flourish of his hand, but Rui calls after him. You know that will be there, right? Huh? Club recruitment day? Oh, the clubs will be here, you know, including track and drama. Oh, uh, well, uh, see you there, yeah! He whisks out of the room, Kak. Hey, uh, you coming to, what, you coming to man the track booth, yeah? Me? Fuck, I, like, I'm a track post child, so, yeah. In fact, I probably just scare away potential recruits, uh, but yeah. Hey, uh, don't think like that. You can't be a great asset, man. You just, you know, gotta believe, you know what I'm saying? Yeah! AKA, every movie theme ever. We exchange Snickers, but Masato grabs my arm. Yeah, look. Really, man? You coming? Surprised by his sudden intensity, Brad Dam, I contemplate it for a moment. It doesn't take long. Uh, sh sure, bruh. Why not? Yeah. Really? Not like I have any fucking thing else to do, so I yeah, might as well, right, bruh? Masato grins, releasing my arm. Good, uh, I gotta go sit up, but uh, I'm expecting you there, you know what I'm saying? He dashes out of the room after a quick wave to Rui. She smiles back and promptly turns to me. Have you figured out why he wants you in a track so badly? Not a clue, girl. Not a clue. She hesitates for a moment and glances around the room. You know, he could join drama club instead. It could be a valid excuse for Masato. I think he just asked why I fucking joined a different club when I could have joined track nubs, eh, girl? But still, I think you really like it. Honestly, it sounds like it could be pretty funny, though. Louis seems to enjoy it. She often claims that uh, it's just like when we played make-believes as kids. And make-believe is, you know, one of the few things that I don't mind doing, so, yeah. But, you know, it's so much work, you know what I'm saying? It's no more work than, you know, track, you idiot. Besides, it could be really fun. I'll take your word for it, girl. Ah. She rolls her eyes and shoulder her back. Well, fine, Mr. Grampy Pants. Some of us have club booth to manage, so I'm gonna get going. Uh, yeah, I'll, I guess I'll go with you, yeah. We walk and step to the door, almost into freedom. And then, the strident voice of the teacher rips through the air! Ahem! <clears throat> Yama, Ishimoto, surely you didn't expect to escape so... Easily? Ah, uh, yes. My fucking, what was it? A uh, attitude problem, yes. I turned to Rui Chan, suddenly pleading. Uh, girl, bail me out. How about it, girl? Eh? Not a chance. Son of a, what? What? It builds character, you know? I, girl, go, go! I have. Plenty of character, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Throw up a distraction for me, girl, please. I throw in a shameless dose of puppy eyes. She only pokes my forehead, sticking her tongue out. You win some, you lose some. Just be glad it's with a teacher instead of a police. Son of a... You didn't She darts off as I call, flatteringly after her. Ninja. At least the police wouldn't fucking bore me tears down. What was that, young man? Oh, fuck, I turned to find the teachers hovering right fuck behind me. Whoops. Whoops indeed. Yeah. Uh, uh, nothing, teach, nothing. Ah, uh, great weather we're having, huh? Yeah. She doesn't seem to assume. Amused, I mean, yeah. At this point? At what point? What? It's the second day of fuck school. Unless she's like referring to the teaching me last fucking year, damn. Come to think of it, yeah, that's highly fucking possible. Aw, oh, fuck, we're going back to last year's shit too now. It's clear the detention is doing nothing for your toxic behavior. Well, yeah, because I can't nap in detention, I'm saying, lady, yeah. Therefore, I've taken the liberty of 
Let's see, uh, recommending you for a therapeutic mentorship, which will take place on campus at a discretion of our dorm manager. Uh, excuse me, what? Therapeutic mentorship? What? Requirements will be one hour, five days a week. The mentor will need to sign off on every visit. The what now? Are, are you, like, scheduling brainwashing session for me, lady? Dog? Excuse me? You might have other ideas, young man. But civility and respect are integral cornerstones of our modern society. If it doesn't result in scrubbing away some of that arrogance of yours, then I say good riddance. I'm fucking shocked. I'm so fucking shocked by this unusually passionate outburst from her. I mean, Dio. She slows her breath, shaking as she jabs a book and envelops at me. Uh huh. Take this, Mr. Ryota's office. You know where it is? A tiny pinch of detention releases. Mr. Ryota's the mentor? Maybe this won't be so bad, huh? Who the fuck is Ryota? I gave the book a uh, once over, huh? The Cover is somber and 100% boring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, block letter proclaim. Primates of the 21st century. 100 plus correctional techniques to improve the mindset of any underdeveloped adolescent. Wow, they have a book for that? What the fuck? Well, uh, gee. I'm fucking honored. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take it. Ah, oh, fuck. I take it. I take it, God. Goodbye. Yama, Ishimoto. She flounced out of the classroom, clearly fed up with my fucking shenanigans. God, this bitch, seriously. Wordlessly, I turn and head down the corridor. Guess someone's a little fucking touchy. Not that I can blame her down, I mean. Yeah, if I had a student like me, I hit him too. Dial! Yeah! I tromped down the stairs to the first floor and stopped before a door at the edge of the hallway, bearing a sign, uh, Jade Yota, door manager. I rapped sharply on the wood three times. Uh, Mr. Yota? Hello? What is it? Nuclear war? What? No, no, what? Meh, don't feel like opening the door for anything less important. I, I could, uh, open the door myself, sir, if you want me to, I mean... Locked it. Don't bother. I press my ear against the door, listening keenly, mm -hmm. There it is. Action-packed orchestral strings, just barely bleeding through the wood. Faint clanging of swords on shields. Are you... Are you... In a clan war, Mr. Ryota? What the fuck is happening? Bah. A moment later, and the door locks, clicks open. Okay. I slid inside a room holding back a smile with the awesome beat in the background. Damn! The office is minimalistic in its furnishings, but fairly welcoming. Warm light encompasses the room. Highlighting the comfortable chairs arranged around a coffee table that bears a bowl of potato chips. Okay. It looks more like the office of a therapist rather than the office of a school door manager. In the corner, I spot a comely, where, yeah, a comely mahogany desk on top of which sits Jiro Ryota in a very dramatic position. Oh, welcome to uh, Satan Room. Uh, have you brought uh, an offering to appease the Dark Lord? Uh, indeed I have, sir. Yeah, uh, indeed. With an equally uh, exaggerated bow, I present the book and. Note from my teacher. Mr. Ryota's eyebrows scrunch in confusion. The hell is this? I fuck, I don't know. Tell me, teach the hell. Uh, kind of got in trouble earlier, so yeah, for like you know talking back to that you know that bitch no on out. Instead of detention, the teachers like convinced that I need a more I don't know like a permanent solution. So yeah, like death. I can help you with that. What? Uh, she was thinking more along the line of, you know, counseling, I believe. Yeah, let's not go too far, teach them. Oh, uh, okay. But, what the hell is this? He shakes the book empathetically. I don't know, fuck the curriculum that the teacher recommends for, you know, helping me, I guess, yeah. 
Oh, right. Well, uh, I'll put it where it belongs. He probably throws it in the trash. <laughs> Which extracts a laugh from me. Damn, Teach. I like this guy. Damn. Now, uh, to business. Let me read up on what exactly your teacher wants. His eyes drift over the paper that I suddenly hand to him. Ha! Huh. Oh boy! Isn't this pre precious, yes? Let me uh, translate, dear Mr. Ryota. I'm having trouble subduing a boy who actually has a brain and doesn't care for the inefficiencies of bureaucracy. Sincerely, a woman who was certainly the most boring person in her graduating class. I choke back laughter as he crumples the paper into a ball and lobs it into the trash. By the way, uh, don't tell anyone I said that or uh, I might get fired, you see. And then you have to take counseling from uh, Mrs. Hanazawa. And then where will you be? Consider the NDA sign, sir. Yeah. Mr. Ryota reclines easily against his chair, kicking his legs on the table. So, how's the apartment? Still in one piece mostly, yeah. Good here. And Phil? Phil? The little, you know, houseplant. The one I place on your shelf. Your memory sucks more than mine, kid. Oh, right. Teach, yeah, Phil. Yeah, what plant? Is it bonsai? What? I vaguely remember Mr. Ryota forming a, an odd attachment to a plant when I moved into my apartment. Even to the point where he named him Phil. Uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, look, man, I'm really sorry to say this, but, uh, I think he died, sir. That's a bit odd. I thought he was a fake plant. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Looked fake on the outside, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I guess, uh, you know, but all real in the inside, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, one of those plants, you know what I'm saying? A satisfied smile pulls at Mr. Diota's lips, and I suddenly realize the fucking metaphor. We're not talking about plants, are we? Your optimism is inspiring, kid. I would have thought your answer to be the contrary. Why people, like, you know, look real on the outside, but they're all fake on the inside? You trying you try to tell me something here, Teach? Something like that, yes. We were talking about plants. How was I supposed to know? Or what? No, we were talking about plants, Teach. Yeah, how, how was I was supposed to know, yeah? Well, you know now. So now that you know, is your answer the same? Uh, no. Didn't even need to think about it. It's the truth. I mean, people pretend to be genuine on the outside, but inside, fuck, they're nothing. In fact, you don't know what the fuck is inside, and you're the only one who knows it. So, yeah. Mr. Diota evaluates me for a moment, but to my surprise, there's no judging in his gaze. You must be a real party pleaser. I'll be here all week, teach. What made you draw such a depressing conclusion? Fuck, man, I can't tell that uh, his mind's on the fast track of uh, psychoanalysis, childhood trauma, clinical depression, suicidal tendencies. Time to put that to rest because uh, if anything should be blamed, it should be my like 100% natural disdain for humanity. Power of observation? If anything, yeah, people like to be strong, you know, confident, independent on the outside. Peel that away and what do you get? Their heart. Then that heart must be pretty pathetic, don't you think, Teach? Did I ever say otherwise? No, no, I guess he didn't, no. Mr. Diota eased from the topic and leans back on his chair, drawing a platter from his drawer. Well, uh, if it were up to me, I'd say that you're just like any other sh surely teenager going through the first dose of sonorities. Chew! My, pe what? My paperwork's been signed, and you know how bureaucracy goes. I thought our government was supposed to be more efficient since the national changes, sir. Ha! You assume the mayor actually does anything important. He scrawls something down on his tablet and taps the screen. My phone buzzes gently in my pocket. Say what? Uh Your teacher recommended that uh, we meet every day. But honestly, who has time for that shit? Well... Yeah, we'll just play it by ear. And you let me know if you ever get the urge to murder someone. Probably means you're due for another checkup. Wait, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, teach. So, I mean, okay, hold on. 
At the beginning, I was killing a guy. A guy? A girl? I don't even know who the fuck I killed. I am I really mentally fucked up right now? Or is this a fucking joke? You just tell me. Oh, well, anyway, let's move on. Fuck it. I checked what he sent me a copy of a spreadsheet that's taped outside his door, revealing his available times. Wow, well, uh, how do you have this much free time, Teach? Life as a door manager just swell, isn't it? I thought you at least had some kind of job, sir. I'll let you in on a secret, son. The kids here don't, you know, cause much trouble. Not cause they're like angels or whatnot. Not cause they're boring. Because they're too prissy. No, I'm saying. They don't want to get their manicure nails dirty with things like graffiti or booze. But they do need someone to cry to when they sub or when they stub a toe and the other teacher seems to think that I fit that job description. Actually, it's more likely that they don't want to deal with hormonal brats. So instead of being a, you know, helicopter parrot, I get to be a bench warmer who just nods and smiles once every few minutes. Like, with me, sir. Well, uh, you'll be more interesting than the rest of them, I hope. Well, yeah, yeah, that sounds like the academy in the fuck that show, isn't it? Yeah, half the people are too fuck snobby to be fun, and the other half are too fuck lazy to fuck care. Uh, what do you get to hear? Like whining about grades, toxic relationship, addiction, alcohol, probably none of those right in this era or in this school, yeah, anyway, yeah. Sometimes, but not always. At any rate, I can't exactly complain. Makes my job easy. Thank you for your uh, massive contribution to society, uh, Ditch. You're absolutely welcome. They seem to equal yours. I snort. He jumps. Yeah, this could have been really painful if I hadn't gotten Mr. Yo the damn. Well, as your loving, caring, and all-inspiring mentor, I can hardly keep you from the beauty that is Club Recruitment Day. Oh fuck! No, look, teach. Look, I'm re I'm fine, really. I. Off you go. Take a selfie and send it to me, or I'll schedule an appointment tomorrow. What? But but that's oh, fuck. You just told me that. You need to expand your opportunities, broaden your horizons, go where no man has gone before. But and most importantly, you need to get out of my goddamn office so I can check my clan. Damn. Just sad, Mr. Delta, come on! World domination calls, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. See yo! And without another word, uh, he's like, shut me out and slam the door in my fucking face. You know what? Fuck your clan! Shit! And your world domination! Shit! Oh god, I have no choice but to head to the school courtyard. Oh shit, it doesn't take much time to find my stuff behind a fucking track table, armed with a I love track flags and I love track posters and I love track headbands. <sighs> you really think people will come if you just put a logo up saying I love track on every fucking single thing, bro? Damn! That's not how it works, bro! Damn! Ah, uh, people's gonna. People's gonna, yeah. Gotta, gotta, you know, not get near us, bro. Tell. Anyway, I get this very vague feeling that he loves track. Mm hmm, y'all. He welcomes me enthusiastically, immediately pilling all admin duties on me. But true to my word, I proceed to my, or proceed to be completely useless throughout the recruitment process. Eventually, Masto seems to give up, handing me a simple sign to wave around. I amuse myself by coming up with truly terrible pitches. Hey, uh, want a six pack? Yeah, join track! Looking for hell hacks? Join track! Get a knack? Join track! Raid your lack? Join track! Pick up the slack? Join track! For some reason, unknown. Masato seems to love this. Okay, he grins and slaps me on the back. There you go, yeah! You just need to, you know, apply yourself, see? Pretty sure that those glasses we're getting from the underclassmen are looks of admiration, more like uh, 
They pretty much don't want to join track out. Despite my obvious shortcomings, uh, Master hooks four recruits into track. Oh, nice! Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that he got that many. A lot of the attendees of the school are the richer, lazier kids. I also noticed that uh, he seems to be a lot easier on them than he was on me. Side of it. When the club recruitment fair is done and everything's torn down, Masto and I head to the school entrance to wait for Nui and Yashiko. For reasons unknown, Masto is ecstatically chattering about my newfound enthusiasm. Hey, uh, you killed it today, man! That's the kind of team spirit we need! Great, great! I might have just gotten myself into more fucking trouble, damn! Well, I guess I was in track for most of the last year. Might as or I was? Yeah, I was, yeah. Might as well do it again this year, yeah. Uh, to him, and then I sent Geezer on a gravy stick on the mother load. We could use a man with your skills! And so he signed a contract with the blood from his veins, you know, thereby permanently joining the drama club! Wow, I can't believe you're so good at recruiting people. You know what they've said to me? What? What? Something like, get a fucking life. You're just in denial about reality kind of fucking deal. Well, darn my sons. Youth these days are so fucking cynical, don't you think? The dude comes to a halt at Masto waves Rui over. Well, looks like you guys have plans. I better like leave you and Yama, I mean uh, you and everyone else to have some nice time together. What, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, it's more like, you know, babysitting duty, gosh. We're, 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 we're um, the babysitter and I have to make sure a bunch of kids won't, you know, set the house on fire and, and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Oh, come on. He's your best friend, isn't he? And your childhood friend, right? Yeah, but... Have you guys made a childhood promise together? What? what? No. N no way, God. Really? Really? Those kinds of things are... Are... More cliché than explosion in an action movie? E exactly. Well, think of this way. Although explosions may be a cliché, there's also a staple. You can't have a proper action movie without a proper explosion, you know what I'm saying? It's the same with Laifu! You can't have a proper childhood friend without a proper childhood promise, now I'm sorry, girl! I went, uh... Does she have to mention romance? Like, really, girl? Uh, uh, oh, oh, uh, look, um... There they are, uh, guess, guess I better get going, y'all! Have fun storming the castle! The girl cheerily skipped away as Rui spins to us for refuge. I tried for a smirk. Looks like, uh, you and Akira had a productive recruitment day, huh? Akira... Huh? Karube. Akira Karube, Rui's best friend, current roommate, and self-appointed matchmaker. Also another person who I don't get along with. But, let's be honest, do I get along with anyone? No! Akira was sure productive. I barely had any luck. I noticed that she's mastered herself surprisingly quickly. Well, I guess that uh, 10 years of make-believe and drama club would do that to you, girl. Yeah. How do you guys do? Uh, we got four new recruits, yeah! 15, like, liters of fresh blood! F 15 liters? Did you just pull that number out of your head, or is it actually legit? Real woman! Of course it's legit, yeah! Average weight, 55 kilograms, you know what I'm saying? The average teenager has a blood volume of 7% his or her total weight. We got ourselves four new recruits. Rui's eyes are already swimming as he raves on, seemingly unaware of the curious glance from the freshman who's pegged him as a rough thug. Assuming no one, no one, anemics, well, assuming no one's anemics, we got like 55 times 4 in total kilograms. Which is like, what, 220? Yeah! Multiply that by a 0.07 for the weight to the blood volume ratio. BAM! 15.4. Round it down to 15 for a nice round number. 
And we got ourselves 15 liters of flesh blood! Holy shit, bruh, did you really calculate that for- uh, Wow! This guy! Seriously! And this is why Masato's really good at catching people off guard, I'm in dial. I can't believe you actually calculated that- No shit, girl! Why, uh, it ain't no trouble! It sure sounds like trouble. Hell nah! Come on, you should see what we do in our society! Yes, Honor Society. Not only does he participate in it, he's the president. Oh, did I not mention that he's literally good at everything? Athletics, academics, heck, probably even fucking art. Except sarcasm. That's one area I can't trump him in. The only fucking area. Oh, uh, here comes the great Yahiko Ikari. Sure enough, a familiar shuck blonde hair pops around the corner. Yeah, he goes beaming, but I noticed that he's not holding a single sign-up page in his hand. Okay. Good day to you, my pitiful peasants. You arrived just in time to witness my brilliant plan. Technically, he was the one who came to us, but I stay silent, you know what I'm saying, for his fucking sake. Yeah. You see, uh, I'm silent. Create my own club, yeah! A club worthy of my immeasurable greatness! In other words, uh, he got rejected by all the other fucking clubs. Dial! Oh boy. You're making a club? Good for ya! I know, bruh! I'm gonna call it the Happy Club, you know what I'm saying? And it will be compromised of minions who will follow my every bidding, you know what I'm saying? I think we just witnessed the creation of a Shadiest club on the fucking campus. We will start by, you know, taking over the school, yeah. Then Isamu, to Japan, then the entire world! Well, uh, at least he doesn't lack ambition, damn. And once my mansion on the moon is built, you know what I'm saying, bros, we will have dominions over the universe itself! But he does lack brains now. What you guys talking about all secret like? Hmm, nothing. We just, we were just, um, talking about how we haven't got to, you know, GFC in a while, you know, mm, yeah. As completely unconvincing as this ex, uh, or no, excuse is, I mean, she successfully turns Masato's attention to food. Oh, uh, GFC? Yeah, I like the way you think, really. We better go now, before the dinner rush starts. What the fuck is a GFC? He marched off, humming, humming, cheerily, as Yahiko blatters on about how amazing his fucking new club will be. Uh-huh. Yeah, g yeah, great cover, girl. I know. Totally, like, inconspicuous, yeah. Just as inconspicuous as that time he wore a kimono. When was that? What? Of course, she's bringing that up. What the fuck did that happen? You, you, you wanna like get tickled, girl? What? Is, uh, uh, what are you trying to pull here, girl? I I'll tickle you, girl, dial. You won't dare. Whenever you mention anything about kimonos, girl, I feel a sudden urge to, you know, tickle the shit out of you. Yeah. Uh, we better get going. We should follow Masato and Yahiko. To GFC? Yeah. Is that like Kentucky Fried Chicken, but more like, uh, is it like what? Kentucky? In fact, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I guess we're going to GFC, yeah! She speeds away before I have a chance to stop her. I only chuckle to myself as I catch up. As we make our way to a lovely shopping area a few blocks away from campus, a couple of details catch my attention. There's endless posters and billboards placed in the face of polit politicians with bored and candid smile proclaiming in a bold letter back to prosperity the recession is over and do more with more upon scrolling tables and giant projected screens that's normal yeah there's the smoker and his buddy the random drunkard the group of tourists clutching electronic pamphlets titled welcome to the glorious metropolis of Isamu while taking pictures in front of every possible location and most of all the ordinary Isamuits power walking down the sidewalk with res resumes clutched in their hopeful hands. 
That's also no wrong. Everything is normal. Completely normal. So, why do I feel so uneasy? Maybe it's the skyscrapers? I never liked them. They're too tall, you know. And I always get the impression that they're watching me. Not like guardians, neither. Or either, I mean. Not some benevolent force that's watching over the city. More like staring, waiting for the, white, for the right moment to strike. And then there's the smog. That terrible musky pollution that sits on my skin like a coat of hard mud. Every breath is disgusting, but every breath is necessary. I hate this city. I... I really... really do. Too bad that there's nothing better. Not really. Too bad that Isamu has always been the best, if not only... option. Oh shit, what the fuck? Hey! Hey! What's the real buddy 